Hi guys, I am so excited about today's video because this is going to be fun, it's going to be challenging, it's going to be very interesting, for me anyway, and this is also going to be a collab with my wonderful friend Jessica Pine. If you guys don't already know who she is, I want to say I discovered her about two months ago now or something like that. I found her from doing the, was it the perfect subscriber tag? I think I was searching for that and her video popped up and... As soon as I started the video, five minutes in I subscribed and I never do that with anybody. I just felt that connection with her. You know how when you meet someone for the first time and you just kind of click? That's how I felt with her. I hope she feels the same way about me. I don't know if she does, but I absolutely love her. Her channel is so much fun. She does a lot of reviews on very inexpensive makeup. She buys a lot of stuff from Shop Missé and places like that. And I find it so interesting because I haven't really tried anything from like most of those brands. So everything that she talks about, I'm just like, wow, I've never heard of that. So if you guys are interested in maybe checking out some cheaper alternatives to makeup and getting her opinions on it, you should absolutely go check out her channel. Her personality is just so great too. She is such a bubbly kind of sweet person. I just, oh, I just, I love you so much. Jessica, I don't know. I have like a girl crush on you. Don't judge me. But today what we are going to be doing is that we are going to be doing a full face of makeup using techniques that we don't usually use or just kind of doing our makeup in a way that is maybe a little bit uncomfortable for us. Maybe something that we have been wanting to try, but we haven't tried yet. So that's what we're going to do. So I've been thinking about this for a while, what I'm going to do, so I think for my base, I've come to the conclusion that we are actually going to like a food festival today, so we're going to be outside for a while. It's getting really hot in Vegas, so I was thinking, I actually bought this foundation the other day from uh, Ulta. It's the Benefit Hello Happy Soft Blur Foundation, and this is a light to medium foundation, which is something that I never use. I always go for the full coverage foundation, but I would like to get more comfortable wearing less coverage in the summer. I don't know why I've never really played around with it. I feel like it's just so easy to put on a full coverage foundation and just not have to worry about anything that's going on on my face and just kind of, you know, start from scratch. But we're not going to be doing that today, so I'm going to be using this foundation. I'm also going to do some cream contouring, which I never really do. So it's not going to be like a sharp contour or anything like that, but I am going to be using some cream products, which I've kind of played with it here and there in the past month, and I've really been liking it. So I think we should just start with a base, though. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some spot concealing first, just to kind of cover up some of the redness that I have and some pimples and stuff and then I'll go in with the foundation after so let me get my hair out of the way so the concealer that I'm going to use is the one that matches my skin tone the most right now and it's the Born This Way by Too Faced so I'm just going to put a little bit of this right where I need it which I never do this so we're just gonna I'm probably going to end up using too much but I always see uh, Samantha Ravendahl do this and I have so much respect for the way that she does her makeup, the way that her skin is, because she doesn't have the best skin like myself. So seeing her use something that's like not very full coverage and just kind of going the more natural way is very inspiring to me because I always see people who does have some, you know, problem areas put on a full coverage foundation. So I kind of want to like start playing with this, even though I don't know if it's going to look weird since I always do like very bright eyeshadow and stuff, but we're going to find out. So I'm going to blend this in now. And I feel like Jessica and I are going to be doing two completely different things because her makeup style is very different from a lot of people that I have seen. And just the way that she does her eye makeup in general I find very intriguing because she always seemed to start with the lid color first, the shimmer, and then goes in with the mattes after, which I'm always just like, wow, I didn't know people did that. So I always like watching her makeup for that reason because I just find it very fascinating. So I'm just going to be blending this out now. Hopefully this is not going to look too patchy under the foundation because I've never used a foundation before. So maybe using a foundation that I've never used when I know I'm going to be outside all day in the sun is probably not the best idea. But we're just going to roll with it because what's the worst thing that can happen, right? Okay, so I guess I'll go in with the foundation now and then I'll do a little bit more concealer after a lighter concealer under my eyes. So. I'm going to apply this with a brush because that is what I always do. I thought about doing a sponge, but then I was like, well, I am using a low coverage foundation, so I don't really want to go in with a sponge at the same time. So I don't know how much to use of this, but we're just going to find out. I did kind of put it on my hand yesterday and it felt really nice and it did seem to have some coverage. So let's just put this on. I hope this shade is good for me. I got medium, which I mean, I do have a bit of a tan right now, but I hope this doesn't oxidize too much. But 
this doesn't really look like medium. I don't know. I wouldn't consider myself a medium, but I guess since it is more of a low coverage foundation, they have a bit more leeway in the shades. And I've honestly wanted to try this foundation for so long just because of the packaging. Like anything that has a smiley face on it, I'm such a sucker for. So I'm happy that I kind of pulled through with this and ended up buying it because I don't think if it was for this video that I would have. Maybe I would have. I don't know. But I just, I really want to get more comfortable using less coverage products and still trying to make it work with my crazy eye makeup. I'm not sure if it's going to look, you know, put together in the end, but hopefully. I mean, this does have some coverage, so it's definitely like not super low coverage. I think I can, I can live with this, I think. So I guess you're getting a first impression on a foundation in this video as well. So far it's looking pretty good. I'm having a bit of a hard time getting to stick to my nose. And I didn't really use a primer because I don't really care to use primers. I use my sunscreen. I got the uh, super goop one and I really like that. And I feel like it's pretty good as a primer as well. So that is the only thing that is on my skin now, other than like, of course, my moisturizers and my skincare and all that stuff. But other than that, I just put on my sunscreen. And I don't really ever care how my makeup looks on my forehead because I always put my hair down. So. I don't really fuss with this too much. I just want to make sure that, you know, if it's like windy outside or something, I don't look crazy if my hair blows everywhere. So I do feel like this oxidizing a little bit. It looks to be a bit darker right now than when I first put it on, but hopefully it won't be too much of a problem. Maybe I need to put this down to my neck a little bit too. Man, my neck is way wider than my face right now. <laughs> Man, that is weird. I feel like when I put it on at first, it looked perfect and now <laughs> It's starting to look a little bit darker on my skin. So I feel like I shouldn't really build this up too much. I don't know if you're supposed to build up a light coverage foundation and the whole point of doing this is to, you know, not do full coverage. So I guess I'm just going to kind of put a little bit more where I feel like I need it. And then we're just gonna kind of leave it alone, you know, keep it a bit more natural on the skin today, which like I said, is something that I've never really played around with. Either I'm just like full coverage foundation or I'm no foundation at all, which, really doesn't ever happen. I usually always wear makeup when I go out. Not because I feel like I have to, but just because it's a habit for me to just put on makeup. So, okay, let's see, what do I do next? I guess I'll go in with my concealer and I am going to use my Makeup Revolution concealer because this is a lot lighter. So hopefully I'll be able to lighten this up a little bit. So I'm not gonna use a whole lot. Just right under my eyes here and just down the middle of my face. Gonna put a little bit more concealer. I felt like I wasn't getting the right coverage that I needed and that I did not get enough sleep last night. So <laughs> I'm gonna need all the coverage that we're gonna get right under here, which I think that is fine. And I even thought of uh, not wearing foundation today and only doing the concealer thing like Jay Kissa does, but I'm not ready for that step yet. So I guess I'll go ahead and set under my eyes before I go in with the contour. That's what I usually do anyway. Oh, and I'm using my uh, Wet n Wild Loose Powder, by the way. I really like this. I've been loving this. I'm making such a mess. I'm just dropping things everywhere. Okay, so I guess I will go in with the cream contour next. I feel like this isn't going to look as dark on me today because my foundation is looking very dark right now. So I have mine in F14. So it's just a... Oh, did I even say what this is? It's the Makeup Revolution foundation stick and I got mine in a dark shade, you know, for this purpose. And the brush that I've been using to do this with is my crown brush. I don't know if this is meant for contouring or what, and I'm not going to draw a stripe on my face. I'm just going to take some on my brush because this thing is very pigmented. So I can't say that I've never liked on this. I've done it a little bit in the past month or so, but you know, I'm still kind of learning because I am not really used to using a lot of cream products. So I'm not going to do anything too sharp here, just a little bit kind of more like a bronzer, I suppose, but I am gonna go in with a bronzer on top of this afterwards, and I feel like I might have brought that too far down, but oh well. And I've said this before, but I don't really do like, you know, contouring. I never contour my nose or really anywhere else, so I'm gonna leave it the way it is now because I don't want this to look, you know, too crazy with the uh, not so full coverage and then all of a sudden having like all this contour, I don't think that's gonna look good. So. For blush, what I'm gonna use is, I'm actually going to use a bullet lipstick. And I think the one that I want to use is from Bite Beauty, and this is Cotton Candy. I've actually been doing this 
quite a bit lately and how I do this is I first go ahead and I warm it up on my hand so I basically just like swirl it and then I take whatever is on my hand now on a brush and then I use my brush to apply the blush with and for that I actually have another one of these crown brushes which I don't think this one is dirty so I'm gonna use that because it's kind of fluffy and I don't think I've ever used this as a blush before so I'm not gonna put on too much to begin with but I feel like if you want to use a cream product uh, as a blush you really don't need to go out and buy like a cream blush because lipsticks can work just as good and I'm sure a lot of you have a really good range of <laughs> bullet lipsticks that you can use so I think this is just like so beautiful so I never thought I would be a cream blush kind of person but maybe I actually am so I don't know yet if I'm gonna go in with anything over the top of this or what but I like the color of this a lot I think that's really pretty and I feel like from now on, when I'm looking to buy new bullet lipsticks, I'm going to look at it in the blush kind of sense. I'm like, can I use this as a blush? <laughs> if so, I'm probably going to buy it or be more likely to buy it than if I'm not able to use it as a blush. All right, so I guess, wow, that's a lot of blush. Oh, well. So what I'll do next is I'm going to set the rest of my face because I am oily AF, so I need all the powder help that I can get. And I don't even know if this foundation is supposed to be long-lasting or anything. I really don't know anything about this. I probably should have looked that up before buying it, but I didn't. So I'm just going to go ahead now and set the rest of my face with a lot of powder. Okay, so let's move on to eyebrows now. Usually what I do is I just use a brow pen. So today I think I want to use powder and I'm also going to use my MAC Shade and Shape pen. I think that's what it's called, Shade and Shape. Shape and Shade, almost, it was pretty close. So what I'll do first is I think I'm gonna take my ABH Riviera palette and I'm going to use the brown in here. I feel like that's going to be a pretty good match for me. Not really sure though, but I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna pull that through my brows. I'm not going to talk while I do it because it's going to take forever, but I will just fast forward so you can see that I'm actually using this. So I don't like how little control I feel like I have with the brush, even though I'm using a pretty small brush. And also, the shade is definitely too warm for me, but hopefully this pen is going to help it. So I have mine in the shade Spiked. So I'm going to use this and just kind of draw hair-like strokes through my brow. And hopefully we'll be able to cover up some of the sparse spots that I have here, because I don't really have a lot of eyebrows, so I feel like brow powders just don't really do it for me or maybe I should have used a regular brow powder and not an eyeshadow but let's see if this can kind of save the situation here and I'm not the best at using this so I'm gonna shut up all right I mean I'm not hating on this it's not ideal I feel like it's just really hard to get them even with the powder first, but I think it's looking fine. So, not terrible. So, what should I do next? Do I, oh, I was gonna ask if I should do a cream highlighter, but too late. So, let me take my hair down because I just don't like wearing my hair back for some reason. So, let me fix this real quick and then we can, I guess, go in with a bronzer. And for bronzer, I'm going to use the Natasha Denona Mini Duo Bronzing Glow. I have been loving this lately so much. I think this is so beautiful. It's such a nice kind of summery shade without being too warm. So I'm gonna put some of this on and I guess you can't even really see my contour anymore, but oh well. So I mean, this isn't something that I wouldn't normally do, but I feel like I still need to do this step and I can't really do it any differently. I wouldn't know how else to use a bronzer. So we're just gonna go with the normal bronzing technique here, if you can even call it that. And then I'm also going to go over the top of this with a powder blush. So I think which one I'm going to use is probably my Physicians Formula one, because this is very much a cool tone blush as well. So I'm going to take this, which is called Rosy Pink. And this is one of my favorite blushes. I love this. But then again, I also love me a good baby pink blush. So I could definitely be in the minority here. And I don't know how well that kind of looks with the bronzer, but it's okay, we're gonna, we're gonna make this work. And then for highlighter, I can't really do anything too different, I don't think. 
So maybe I should do my eyes first and then figure out which highlighter I want to wear after. So I, I really haven't decided what I want to do for eyes because I don't even know if there's any technique per se that I don't really ever do or like to do. I'm not going to do like a neutral eye just for the sake of me not ever doing a neutral eye because that'll be boring. So I don't know. I'm going to start just by priming with my MAC paint pot like I always do and then kind of just think about it and see if I can come up with something. Alright, so I guess what I'll do is, I kind of do have a plan, and I was browsing on Instagram the other day, and let me just show you a picture on the screen. So basically what I want to try to do is I want to kind of have my liner on top of my eye connect with my crease and then have a lighter shade on my lid. And the reason why I think this is going to work, and the reason why I don't usually do liners with shadows is because the liner will transfer. So I'm actually going to do the liner first and then see where it transfers and that's where I will cut my crease or put my crease I should say. So I'm actually going to use my Saharan 2 palette by Juvia's Place because I just did a video where I ranked all of my Juvia's Place palettes and I decided to put this on the bottom and then I felt kind of bad about it because I do like some of these shades so I want to just play with this today. I want to apologize to the palette but you know I do still like it. It just ended up being my last spot so I'm going to go in with Zebra or wait Zora. Zora. I'm gonna go in with this shadow right here and I'm going to take that on a pencil brush and so I guess this is a technique that I've never done before so hopefully this turns out okay. If not I'll be wearing sunglasses all day which to be fair I probably will anyway so I'm gonna first start by putting a kind of a thick line of this on top of my lid where I want my liner to be and worst case we'll just uh, turn this into a smoky eye or something because this may or may not work so we're just gonna we're just gonna find out you know only one way to find out, and that is to try. So this might have been a little bit too thick, but we're just gonna kind of roll with it for now, and then hopefully by the time I'm done with the other eye, this one has transferred into my crease, and I can see where kind of the space in between is going to be. Okay, so I mean, this isn't transferring the way that I want it to, so maybe I will, do I wanna use this on my lower lash line too, or do I just wanna start pulling this through my crease? Ooh, now I'm like really confused and I don't know if this is going to work at all. Maybe I will start just kind of going through my crease with this as well. To be fair though, my crease is like above my crease because I don't really have a crease inside of the eyes. So when I say my crease is basically where I would like my crease to be. So I kind of like the shape of this. I think that looks pretty cool. So let me see if I can get that to look the same on this side. Okay, so it's not looking completely even, but I'm gonna go in with a bit of a fluffier brush here. And I'm going to start by blending out the edges on top. I don't know yet if I want to do the same on the lower lash line. I wanna kind of just finish up the lid first and see what happens there. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with a bit more of that shadow now on my pencil brush and I'm going to make it a little bit thicker, just on the outer part here. And if you're asking me where I'm going with this, I really don't know. I'm kind of just putting shadows on my eyes and hoping for the best at this point. And I kind of want to go in and deepen this up a little bit as well, possibly. I also kind of just want to go in with some kind of a matte all over my lid where I have that blank space. So maybe I will do that. What would look good with this? Hmm. What about orange? What do we think about orange? I feel like orange could look kind of cool. So I'm going to take my uh, Zulu palette by Juvie's Place. I'm going to take this orange right here. And I'm basically just going to pack that on the rest of my lid where I don't have any shadow yet. And then we'll see what happens to everything here if uh, it still looks good in the end. So I think this is looking pretty cool. I quite like this. I'm gonna go in and blend a little bit more just on this eye right here. And I'm going to take a bit more of that shade that I put in my crease and I'm going to start bringing this down to my lower lash line. I'm not going to pull this all the way across, I don't think. I kind of want to do something else with this as well. And just for my inner corner, I'm going to take a bit of yellow from the Zulu palette as well. And just put that right here. And just meet that up with the orange. 
And I do kind of wish that I was using a darker shade as my liner and something lighter on the lid because now you can't really see the line that I have on top here. But I'm worried if I go in with something darker just to darken up that line that that line is going to transfer up here and then I have to go in with that shadow as well because that is usually what happens if I put anything on my line where I would usually do my eyeliner it just transfers up so I think I'm just going to leave it the way it is and then for the rest of my lower lash line I was thinking I wanted to do a pop of something I feel like I've done that a lot lately but it's just it's so fun you know and since I have the Zulu palette here I kind of want to use the green do I want to use the green I think we should use the green so I'm gonna take this one right here I just this shadow makes me so happy just looking at it and I just love this so much and I'm gonna just pop some of this on so honestly, if you wanted to recreate this, you could just use a Zulu palette because I feel like the shade that I have in my crease is very similar to the pink that is in this palette. You could also probably just mix the pink and the purple in this palette to make the same. And I also thought about doing lashes for this, but like I said, we are actually going out after this, so I'm just not going to wear lashes the rest of the day. And if I put them on now and I take them off, it's going to look ridiculous since I don't really know how to do it. So. I think I'm going to call this good with eyeshadow. Do I want to do some kind of... Uh, I think I'm going to just do a little bit of eyeliner, nothing much. I'm just going to trace my upper lash line and I'm going to put something in my waterline. What do I want to use? I think I want to use the new yellow one from ColourPop. This is in the shade Crossed or C-R-R-S-E-D I think it is. Oh, C-R-S-S-D. So I'm going to pop this in my waterline. I feel like I'm going for a very festival -y look and this is not that kind of festival but here we are, so that is what we're doing. So I'm gonna pop this in my waterline. Oh, that is very bright and very pretty. So I will say I'm not sure about this foundation. I don't know if it's just because I'm not used to not full coverage, but I feel like it's looking a little bit patchy, but that could also just be my skin not being super smooth and like, you know, covered all the way. So let me know what you think. Do you think this foundation looks good? I, f I mean, it feels really nice on my skin. It's not sticky or anything now that I've set it. And hopefully it's going to last for a while. It doesn't even say on it if this is like a long-lasting foundation. So it probably isn't, but I guess we're just going to have to see. So like I said, I'm going to put a bit of liner on, not much, just to trace my upper lash line because I just find that it makes the mascara look a little bit better and smoother. So I'm going to do that, put on some mascara, and I'll be right back because I don't think I have any crazy techniques to use eyeliner or mascara. <laughs> Okay, so this is going to be the eye look all done. I think that came out really cool, actually. Like I said, for highlighter, I don't really think I have any like specific highlighting techniques or anything like that that I can use. I don't want to go in with some kind of a cream right now because I already have powder on. So I'm just going to use my Amrezy highlighter by Anastasia because I think I feel like a gold highlighter is going to look really nice with this look. And I love this highlighter when I have a bit of a tan. I think it looks so good. Wow. Okay, maybe that was a little bit too much highlighter, but nah, it's fine. Okay, what do I want to do for lips? I thought about doing like an ombre lip or something like that, but I honestly just don't think it looks good on me, so I don't want to do that. So maybe I'll just do what I don't do very often, and that is to use a lip gloss on its own, because usually I wear lip gloss with a lip liner. So maybe I'll just do that to keep it like natural with the rest of the face. So let me figure out a lip gloss I want to wear. Oh, so I have the perfect one. This isn't even really a lip gloss, but it's one of the Wet n Wild Mega Last Lip with Katsuit High Shine Lipsticks. I love this. And I got a new one, and this is in the shade Send Nudes. I have used it a couple of times, and I think this is absolutely beautiful. And I like that it has just enough pigment to it to feel like you're wearing something with a bit of coverage, but it still feels like a gloss when you're wearing it. So really, it's just a highly pigment the gloss and it's also very rare that I wear something that is this light and this nude so I think that is going to sum up this video am I happy with this I think I'm pretty happy with this actually um I don't feel like I went too out of the box but I still feel like I use techniques that you guys probably have never really seen me use not that I really do my face makeup on camera that often. But the times that you have seen me do that, I usually go into a very full coverage foundation and all that jazz. So yeah, I think this came out really good. I'm still not like 
very comfortable with not wearing a full coverage foundation, but I think I will get used to it and it is something that I definitely want to start experimenting more with in the summer here because it just gets so hot that I'm just like sweating my face off every day. So, oh, one other thing I should do, I should do a setting spray because I never do setting spray. So let me use the Scandinavia setting spray. This is the oil control one. I actually really like this. All right, so that is going to be my completed look. Let me know what you think. Do you think I did okay? Did I at least try different things? I feel like I did. So now that you are done watching my video, please jump on over to Jessica's channel. I think you guys are really going to like her. She will of course be listed everywhere. I can't believe I forgot to say that in the beginning of the video, but you guys know what it's like with collapse. So go check her out. She will be up here. I will also link her channel down in the description box as well as her videos. So go check her out. Tell her that I sent you. I hope that you guys check her out because she deserves way more credit than she has been getting. So that is going to sum up today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you are new to my channel, thank you so much for watching and I hope I will see you all in my next one. Bye!